Hey, Christina, still crying your heart out about what happened at your wedding? <laughs> Come on, you don't have to beat yourself up like that. Just admit it, you're a pathetic loser. You couldn't even hold on to your fiance. I can only imagine how much that stings. Finding out that the person you were about to tie the knot with cheated on you with your own sister, no less? Ouch, that's gotta be a real punch to the gut, huh? Wow, Vicky, you're seriously shameless. I can't even wrap my head around the fact that you'd pull off something so vile against your own sister. I should have seen your evil side ages ago. Anyway, now that we're at this point, what else is there to say? You and Dave truly deserve each other. You two are like a match made in heaven, and I genuinely hope you'll have a happy life together. I really do. Come on, Christina. Quit with the tough act. I can tell you're falling apart inside, aren't you? Why not just let it all out and take your best shots at me? Keeping all that resentment bottled up isn't healthy, you know? You know what? It was downright hilarious to see you standing like a fool at the altar while Dave declared his engagement to me. You got dumped big time, you gotta admit. It's the most epic moment of my life. I feel like I'm the freaking queen, no joke. You and Dave are just plain awful. Do you even get how much you humiliated me in front of everyone, including my friends and family? Listen up, I'm dead serious. I won't ever forget what you two did to me, and forgiving you is out of the question. Believe me, actions have consequences, and you're gonna pay a hefty price for messing with my life. Mark my words, it's gonna come back to haunt you. Oh, are you trying to scare me, Christina? I'm shaking in my boots, like seriously, not? <laughs> Keep dreaming, sis. I'm here to tell you that nothing bad is ever going to happen to me now that I've got Dave by my side. He's the total package, you know? Looks, money, the whole package. Sorry you missed out on a catch like Dave, but hey, tough luck. He's mine now, and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, it's quite something that you can still be all confident and stuff after straight up stealing my fiancé right in front of me. But you know what? I'm not even bothered by your actions. Not even a tiny bit. In fact, I consider myself lucky to have dodged a massive bullet like Dave. You want to know why? Because cheaters always cheat, my naive sister. It's just a matter of time until he finds someone new to prey on and pulls the same old tricks. So, I'd say you better brace yourself for that day when it inevitably comes knocking. Just some friendly advice, you know? Oh. Look who's sending more threats my way. Let me tell you something. Those threats of yours mean squat to me. They're like child's play, seriously. All they do is highlight how pathetic you are, honestly. And hey, remember when you witnessed firsthand how loving and affectionate Dave was towards me? Yeah, that's right. So there's absolutely no chance he's gonna go off and betray me for some other chick. I'm his one and only. His first and last love. End of story. Sure thing. We'll just have to wait and see how long that supposed love between you and Dave will actually hold up, won't we? Time has a funny way of revealing the truth, after all. Oh, how could you forget? Remember when Dave made that big announcement about our engagement and then went on to plant a full-on French kiss on me right there in front of everyone at the wedding? It was wild! I couldn't even believe it myself at first. I mean, talk about being straightforward, right? Dave's got that charm, that's for sure. He's such a sweetheart, don't you think? Of course, you know things between us weren't just some innocent peck, right? I mean, let's get real here. I actually slept with him, like, a bunch of times. <laughs> no kidding. Hey, could you do me a solid and not bring up that whole stunt you and Dave pulled? It was beyond awkward and just plain weird. Honestly, it would be great if you two could just peace out from my wedding and get the hell out of my life. Let's skip all the unnecessary drama, okay? 
Come on, let's face it. Our little smooch single-handedly turned your wedding into the most thrilling event ever. I mean, no doubt it was on the verge of being a total snooze fest until I swooped in and spiced things up. And guess what? That video of Dave locking lips with me went viral in no time and racked up millions of views overnight. Thanks for making me an overnight sensation, Christina. You're truly the greatest sister a person could ask for. No kidding. All right, it's good to know you're happy about it. But did you even bother to check out the comment sections and see what people had to say about that crazy stunt you and Dave pulled? I'm willing to bet that most of them are totally against what you guys did. It's always good to get a reality check from people, you know? Yeah, why should I care about what other people think of me? Their opinions are worth zilch. They're just a bunch of idiotic haters who are jelly of me and my hunky fiancé. Plus, all that matters to me is that now I'm crazy famous. I've got a loaded boyfriend and a future full of riches. I mean, seriously, what could possibly go wrong in this picture-perfect scenario? Do you honestly think that building your happiness on the misery of others is going to last? Trust me, that kind of foundation isn't going to hold up for long. You should really feel ashamed of yourself for finding joy in causing pain to others. Oh, you better believe my happiness is here to stay. Because guess what? Dave and I are getting married real soon, my friend. Let me tell you, our wedding is going to be the talk of the town. It'll be the biggest, most extravagant celebration you've ever seen. Get ready for some serious glitz and glam. And hey, if you really think about it, you getting dumped by Dave doesn't make much of a difference in your life, does it? Let's be real. You've been a bum, just mooching off of Dave and our parents' hard-earned cash. Time to step up your game, loser. Where on earth did you get the crazy idea that I've been bumming around at home and mooching off other people's money? Who fed you that load of nonsense? Let me set the record straight. None of that is true. Not even close. Hey, listen up. It's time for you to wake up and shake things up. How much longer are you going to let your life slip away like this? Can't you see? You've become nothing but an antisocial couch potato, not really doing anything worthwhile. Don't you feel even a little ashamed? I mean, come on. What do you even do at home all day? Don't tell me you're playing house guard or something. We didn't hire you as a security detail, you know. It's time to break free from this routine and start making something of yourself. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and let you accuse me of things that are simply not true. I want to make it clear that I do stay at home, but that doesn't mean I'm unemployed. I actually have a job, but I'm actively working from home, okay? So get your facts straight before you come at me with these baseless accusations. Working from home? Haha, <laughs> give me a break. I bet it's some lame job that barely pays anything. It's not even worth talking about. I can't even fathom why Dave decided to be with you in the first place. You're like a professional moocher who knows nothing but sucking the life out of other people's hard-earned cash. Can't you see? It's high time you got a real job that actually pays decently. Like, who do you think you are trying to tell me what to do or what job I should have? Seriously? Is there no limit to your ridiculousness? Think about it. Someday, I'll tie the knot with Dave and we'll have kids together. When that happens, I'll be the top priority for everyone. That means mom and dad won't have the time or energy to baby you anymore, and you'll have to fend for yourself. I'm giving you a heads up here. If you keep loafing around and not getting a job, you'll be evicted from our house. Laziness is not going to fly in this family, got it? All right, Vicky, I have no idea what you're trying to pull here. First, you publicly snatch my fiancé, and now you're throwing around threats about kicking me out of the house. Talk about getting a big head, huh? Listen up. I can handle my own business just fine, thank you very much. Unlike you, I don't need mommy or daddy to hold my hand through life. You seriously have no clue about what I've been doing at home. You're just making assumptions based on your own biased views. Oh yeah? Then please, enlighten me, dear Miss Lazy Sloth. What have you been doing at home that's so important and valuable? Why should I even bother explaining it to you? I don't owe you any explanations. 
And let's be real, even if I did explain it, I doubt you'd grasp it. It's way too complex for your smooth brain. Oh, look who's full of excuses. Is that the best you can come up with to defend your uselessness, Christina? Pathetic, really. You know what? Starting now, you're officially banned from staying with me and our parents. Got it? Go find your own place and rot to death away for all I care. Oh, and don't even think about showing up at mine and Dave's wedding. Having a useless loser like you there would just bring shame upon me and our family. Now get out of my house, you leech! Well, isn't this just the perfect moment? I was actually about to break the news that I can't stand living with you anymore. I'm gonna find a new place for myself, and trust me, it'll be nowhere near your toxic vibes. I'm dying to see how you'll handle the bills and expenses once I'm out of the equation. It's gonna be a real eye-opener, I bet. Hey, Christina, are you there? Why are you ghosting me? I've been trying to reach out to you through calls and messages. I've got something super important to discuss, and it can't wait. I can't believe you're ignoring me like this. That's not how we should be treating each other. We're supposed to have each other's backs. Didn't we already have this conversation where I made it crystal clear that I want nothing to do with you anymore? And let's not forget, you were the one who confidently threatened to kick me out of the house, right? So what's the deal now? Look, I don't even know how things went so wrong. But my life is an absolute disaster now, all thanks to that dumb video. You know the one I'm talking about, right? The video where I stole your fiancé and we ended up smooching in front of everyone at your wedding? Ugh, what a mess! Oh, that video? Yeah, I heard it caused a whole bunch of hateful comments to flood the internet, didn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. That video actually did a number on me. Now it feels like everyone I know has turned against me. They're straight up ignoring me and leaving me out of everything. Even my best friends have jumped on the bandwagon and joined the let's hate on this girl club. But here's the actual bad news. My boss saw that video as a major source of negativity and it's seriously hurting our company's reputation. So guess what? He decided to give me the boot and now I'm jobless. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That really sucks. <laughs> I already told you to steer clear of that video, but you didn't listen to me. So, what's the plan now? I mean, being jobless isn't the end of the world, right? You can always land a new job and start earning again. From what I gather, the old job didn't even pay you that well anyway. Are you freaking kidding me? Do you even know how hard I busted my butt to snag that job? I got rejected by countless companies before I finally landed that gig. It was no walk in the park, I tell you. Hey, what about Dave? Remember, you were telling me all about how awesome he is? The guy's got a bright future and a big paycheck. I'm pretty sure he's more than capable of taking care of you. Well, unluckily, the same thing that went down with me also went down with him. His boss straight up canned him as soon as they found out about him ditching your wedding and that viral video of him kissing me. His boss gave him a lecture about ethics and how it seriously messed with the company's image. So now Dave's also out of a job, no longer qualified to work there. I can only imagine how steamed James must have been when he found out about Dave's messed up move. Hold up. Wait a sec. How on earth do you know that Dave's boss is named James? Well, I never told anyone this. But Dave's boss is actually one of my friends from college. We're pretty tight, you know? So obviously, he wasn't about to let me get picked on by you and Dave without doing something about it. Eventually, he made the call to fire Dave from his job at the company. And of course, it was totally justified because Dave had been slacking off his duties. He couldn't even handle the task assigned to him properly. Oh no, seriously? This is like the worst thing ever happening to me. I can't even begin to understand how everything is just crumbling right before my eyes. Ugh! Hey, Christina, my lovely sis. 
Listen up. I really need you to step in and lend a hand to your adorable and kind sister. I mean, come on, we're family, right? If both Dave and I end up without jobs, I have no clue how I'm gonna make it through life from now on. It's gonna be a major struggle. You gotta be my hero, sis. You're seriously the only one I've got in this crazy world. Please, pretty please, help me out. And tell me, what exactly do you expect me to do to help you out? Oh, come on, it's a piece of cake. All you gotta do is send me a few thousand bucks every month and bam, all my problems magically disappear. Easy peasy, right? Are you kidding me? Not a chance. You stole my fiance and flaunted it like you won some kind of grand prize. Then you belittled my career choice and kicked me out, thinking I was worthless. And now you expect me to help you? Are you out of your mind or what? Why on earth should I lift a finger after all the messed up deeds you did to me? Do you think I'm dumb or what? You can't be that cold hearted, can you? Your cute and kind sister is pleading with you here. I'm at my breaking point. So pretty please, do something to lend a hand. Hello? Christina? Are you there? My dear sis, I'm reaching out to you. Hey there, Christina. Guess what? I've got some super thrilling news to share with you. I just know you're gonna love it. Oh, I'm bouncing off the walls with excitement. Hold up, pardon me? But who are you exactly? You're not in my contacts, so I'm not sure who I'm chatting with here. What? Don't tell me you deleted my contacts already. You'd be a monster if you did that, seriously. Anyway, are you ready for the mind-blowing news I'm about to drop on you? Trust me, it's gonna rock your world. Vicky? You again? I thought we were done talking. Well, alright. If you've got something to say, then make it quick, because I don't have much time. Oh, quit being all condescending to your own family. That's not nice of you at all, I'm telling you. Alright. Brace yourself for this bombshell. Dave and I already split up. Surprise! Oh, really? Why am I not surprised? I figured you'd dump him sooner or later. I mean, let's be real here. You only went after him for his cash, right? But now that he's jobless, what's the point of keeping him around anyway? What are you saying, Christina? You're making it sound like I'm some kind of money-grubbing witch or something. Anyway, here's the deal. I'm giving Dave back to you. Yep, you can have him all to yourself again if you want. So, are you jumping with joy, sis? I bet you're on cloud nine right now. Hold up a sec. So, you go through all the trouble of snatching Dave away from me. But now that he's all used up, you're just gonna toss him aside like yesterday's garbage? Seriously, what kind of messed up thinking is that? It's honestly so twisted, and I'm totally grossed out by it. What happened to all those claims about loving Dave more than anything in the world, and being willing to go to the ends of the earth for him? I bet they were all just empty words, huh? Well, the thing is, I didn't really plan on ditching him. But you know how it goes. A little accident happened and everything went totally crazy. It wasn't what I had in mind, I swear. Accident? What kind of accident are you talking about? You know, Dave was really down in the dumps after getting the boot from his old job and struggling to find a new one. That's why he was drowning his sorrows in booze most of the time. Well, one night he made a terrible decision to drive home while totally wasted and ended up in a nasty car crash. It was bad news. Now he's paralyzed from the neck down, can't even speak, and it's a major downer. These days he's just a helpless lump lying around the house, needing assistance for every little thing. 
I'm talking about eating, showering, and even using the bathroom. Can you imagine how frustrating and tiresome that is? It's a real pain. Oh, Dave got in a car wreck and now he's stuck in paralysis? You know what? There's this part of me that wants to be all saintly and show sympathy. But then there's this other part that just wants to scream, You totally deserve it! I mean, if he hadn't betrayed me and flaunted that gross video of you two smooching all over the internet, none of this mess would have gone down. Listen up, Christina. I'm done with that deadweight called Dave, period. I can't even bear to look at him anymore, so I kicked him to the curb. I'm not his personal servant, so why should I be stuck taking care of him and tending to his every whim? It just doesn't make any sense, plain and simple. Well, that's pretty tough. I get it. But hey, why not give a shot at discussing Dave's health situation with his parents? I mean, he's their own flesh and blood, so I doubt they're heartless enough to not care about him. It's worth a try, don't you think? I reached out to his parents and tried to convince them to take Dave in, but they shut me down completely. They straight up told me that they disowned him ages ago, especially after the messed up stuff he pulled with you. They want nothing to do with him, it seems. Yeah, I've always known that Dave's parents are awesome folks. They treated me like their own flesh and blood, and they were genuinely excited about us getting married. But, well, our marriage turned into a total disaster. Dave's parents had to step up and apologize to me for his actions. Anyway, if you're not taking care of Dave anymore, where is he now? He's most likely stuck at our rented place, just lying there like a lifeless blob. What a useless weight to carry, seriously. I hope he hurries up and dies. This world doesn't need useless dudes like Dave hanging around. What? You can't just leave him hanging like that. How about considering a nursing home or something? I mean, you two were almost tying the knot, and you even confessed your love for him. So, isn't it a bit contradictory to just ditch Dave like that? Why can't I just leave him behind? Like you said, we were almost married, but it never happened. So I'm not obligated to take care of him, right? Plus, I don't have spare cash lying around for Dave's nursing home expenses. You know how crazy expensive those places can be, right? Wait, are you saying you'll actually send me money to cover Dave's nursing fees? Wow, sis, you're seriously the best sister ever. If that's the deal, then I have no reason to say no. Just remember to send me around $15,000 each month, okay? Feel free to send more if you want. The more the better, you know. Now you're asking me to send you $15,000 every single month? What kind of crazy request is that? What's the deal with you questioning my request for $15,000? Look, we're sisters, and it's only natural to help each other out when we need it, right? That's just common sense. Plus, you're aware that's the average monthly cost for nursing home care, aren't you? It's not like I'm making it up. Hey, Vicky, hold up and hear me loud and clear. There's absolutely no chance I'm gonna send you 15K every single month, all right? What do you take me for? Do you think I'm rolling in dough or something? No way. <sighs> yeah, right. What else can I expect from you? You're just as tight-fisted as the last time we talked. Hold up. Don't tell me you still haven't gotten yourself a job and you're just mooching off others. Wow, you really are gross, Christina. Are you serious, Vicky? Just a few minutes ago, you were asking me for money, calling me the best sister ever. But now, the moment I declined to send you the money you wanted, you turn around and call me gross? Wow. Talk about being ungrateful. All right, cut it out, Christina. You're giving me a headache with all this back and forth. Now, let's get real. 
Are you going to lend a hand to your cute little sister or what? I need some cash to get by, you know? All right, fine. I'll give you a hand. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not going to send you the crazy amount of money you're asking for. Here's what I can do. I'll give you a job so you can start earning your own money and take care of yourself. I heard mom and dad already cut off the usual monthly allowance, right? Are you seriously offering me a job? Haha! <laughs> Come on, Christina. We all know you're the queen of mooching. So how on earth could you possibly give me a job? Yeah, right. Like that would ever happen. When are you gonna stop thinking your opinion is the only one that matters? I've told you countless times that I actually have my own job. And guess what? I've been running an online business for ages now. It's going pretty well, so I decided to start my own company. Of course, it's totally fresh, and there are quite a lot of open positions that need to be filled. Are you telling me this for real? I can't believe it. I mean, you're not lying to me, are you? Um, no, of course not. No way I'd lie about something like that. I ain't the lying type, you know? If you're doubting me, go ahead and search up my company's website online. It's called Prosperity Capital Solutions. We're all about managing investments and helping clients crush it in the financial markets. Oh, and check out the About Us section. You'll even find a pic of me there. Give me a minute to check. I'm sure you're just bluffing. What? No freaking way. This lady totally looks like you. All right, so, do you finally buy what I just told you? Oh my god, sis! I can't even wrap my head around how freaking talented and successful you are. I'm seriously hurt, Christina. It's obvious you don't have an ounce of trust in me. Well, considering how you've been acting and treating me, it's pretty obvious why I kept my profession a secret from you, don't you think? Oh, come on! Quit being all chilly and distant with me. You know I've always looked up to you and thought you were awesome, right? Anyways, back to the main deal. If I agree to work at your company, what kind of gig are you thinking of hooking me up with? Let me guess, since you're the big shot CEO, I should be the director or vice director or something fancy like that, right? Woohoo! Go me! I'm excited. So when can I start clocking in? I'm itching to get to work ASAP. Hold up, Vicky. Slow your roll. I never mentioned anything about you snagging a high-level position like director or anything like that. Look, since you're not really savvy when it comes to finance, I don't think any of the positions I need at my company are the right fit for you. But hey, I reckon there might be a spot that doesn't demand a ton of specialized knowledge in finance. What? What is that position? Tell me now! I'm really excited. <laughs> but hey, here's the deal. I want a job that's super chill and requires zero effort. And on top of that, it's gotta give me a fat paycheck. In a perfect world, I'd rather just kick back and get paid without lifting a finger. No way. Are you for real? There's no job out there where you can just laze around and still rake in the dough. That kind of job only exists in your wildest dreams. But here's my proposition. I'm thinking of putting you on the janitorial crew in my company. You know, it's always important to keep the office spick and span for everyone's sake. You serious? You want me to be part of the janitorial squad? You must be out of your mind. No freaking way I'm getting my hands dirty with that filthy job. Are you trying to pull a prank on me, Christina? Because let me tell you, it ain't funny in the slightest. No, I'm not joking. I'm being completely serious. After carefully thinking it through, I genuinely believe that working as a janitor is the job that suits you best. Go to hell, Christina. I can't believe you'd even think of something so ridiculous. No freaking way I'm going to waste my time on some trivial gig like that. You're crazy. Well, do whatever floats your boat. That's the best I can offer to lend a hand. Anyways, I've got a super important meeting with a client coming up. 
so I won't be able to chat with you anymore. Goodbye, Vicky. After rejecting my job offer, Vicky tried her luck with different companies, but she faced rejections in most cases. Even when she managed to secure a job, she couldn't hold on to it for more than a month. Eventually, she had no choice but to come back to me, begging for that janitor position. As for Dave, the government social services finally stepped in and provided him with the help he needed. Caretakers came and went, assisting him with his basic needs. After a few months of intensive care, Dave's health significantly improved, and he even regained the ability to speak. Later on, he spilled the beans on everything, including how Vicky tampered with his car, leading to the accident. It turned out that Vicky was furious after discovering Dave's infidelity, and she was determined to seek revenge. Once the truth came to light, Vicky was sent to prison for attempted murder. I suppose you could say that's the karma they both deserve. As for me, my company continues to thrive and grow. I believe it won't be long before we reach the top of the market. With my business becoming more stable, I'm able to take my time and enjoy traveling more. I'm eager to learn new things and live a vibrant life.